just get playing. I mean, how long did it take you to do those boards, Gina, the ones by do the you know, I special? don't know, actually, because part of it is, um, obviously, we test every one of them yeah. to make sure that, that we are happy with the design that's coming out. Look at all those boards. And well. so you sort of just work through as you're designing. It took a long time to to work out how to design what we wanted. Yeah. Because I, I will say to Mark, I need this shape. Mm -hmm. So then he has to sit and work it out for me. Uh -huh. That's his Put him to job. Work. That's yeah. his job. So there we go. Take it off. Leave it to dry. And bead. Yay, cool. And you can then cover it, paint it. You can sand it down when it's dry if yeah. you want smoother edges. You can cover it with... Um, mm -hmm your paper clay mm -hmm. to really smooth it out so that right. you can do paint effects and sort of make it really glossy. There's all sorts you can do with those. Nice. Now we've got some people asking about the total trimmings table. Yep. Um, just how it works basically. Okay. <laughs> basically, right. this is your workstation. Yeah. Okay. For, for tassel making, for braiding, um, you can do frogging on it. All sorts. What's frogging? Frogging is uh, decorative knots. Okay. So if you have a cord you've got a sponge with this okay so if you have a cord which I will show you I'll make a cord let's do that Why not? <laughs> let's make a cord and then you can see what I'm on about now part of the thing with the trimmings table is that you've got all these series of pegs okay so you can measure out lengths okay that's good um, which is our warps um, so if you're making tassel skirts you'll go from peg to peg to peg yeah so that you get a longer warp and that's really something that's quite important. So with this one, let's just, if you don't have a cord winder, you can wind around oh, okay. using one of these pegs yeah. held in place and wind. But for the sake of clarity for TV, and we do have these um, in our Notions bundle. Right. Okay, so it comes with a cup, there's a bobbin winder and a cup hook. You have to take the little pin out of the bobbin winder mm -hmm. and carefully put the cup hook in. Okay. You won't be able to use this wind bobbins anymore. Okay. It will become your thread winder. But it really speeds up the job. Oh, look at that. That's cute. So it's fantastic. It speeds up the job. You don't have to think too yeah. hard about it. Okay. Very nice. So we'll twist up. I'm just going to take that one off here. We're keeping it taut. In fact, I'll put it over here so the camera can get. And then I'll put the other end onto the hook and then I'm going to turn them in the opposite direction. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, and yep. that's going to give us a cord. Nice little design. Okay, nice. so that works really easily so you've got your cords. Mm -hmm. But then your frogs are when you make, you know, the like the military? Yeah. So you can work your knots and you can pin them this is obviously very short but you can pin them all out to so do all your decorative knots and you pin it oh. all down and that's what that's for so the knot looks like a pretzel that kind particular of. one yeah. does yeah but you can get really fancy ones you know like all the ones on the military yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a frogs and fancies DVD which actually takes you through doing different types of frogging right um, also the total trimmings project book Two, which is also on the website, mm -hmm. that is decorative knots. So that touches a little bit on that as well, because they're all related. All these different passementary techniques are related. So that's the first thing that you can do with that. Lovely. You can do the warps, as I said. That's an important thing. Take that out. Along the top edge, you have um, holes which mm -hmm. match for the different rods that come with paper lathe. Great stuff. Okay, so you can sit your tassels there while you're working on them uh -huh. and they're in an upright position. You also have, I'll take these, some of these out so I can turn it around and show you. That one's a bit tight, mm. there we go. You've got a hole here. Now this hole, if you turn it around that way, sure, is over a disc. Okay. And that steel disc means that if you have the button maker's third hand, uh -huh. you can use that on there. Oh, that's it clever. It clips in and you can use the third hand while you're on this. Right. The underneath, the reason that it has this separate top is so that you can put your patterns underneath while you're working it's very as clever. well. And there's also, if you have 
the Tenerife starter kit mm -hmm. with the looms, you've got this little clip. That will hold the loom in place so that you can work two-handed on any of your Tenerife lace looms that right. we have. Very clever. And it doesn't stop there. Oh, what it more. also has is... No, I didn't put it away. I thought I had. Upright struts, which you can use as a pony loom. There's suggestions in the yeah. um, uh, booklet that comes with it. So that's just to secure it up. Very clever. Okay, which will hold your rods. Yeah. Okay, which means that when you're working on a tassel and you want that tassel, you want to paint it, or you oh. want to cover it, you can do it that way. Very clever. And do that. So it, it does, it's there for most of the disciplines I bring. Yeah. I use it. This is why this one is all scratched. I use this up, I use it every day. If anything, mm -hmm. or nothing else, to hold my thread while I'm working with sure. it. Sure. So, Very <laughs> you useful. know, it, it is there for that. And basically, it just takes the place mm -hmm. of a um, passementary work shop yep. table that will have holes in it where you can put different uprights yeah. to work on different things in passementary and braiding. You know, you've got a fixed point there so right. that you can do braiding. It's there, it's held secure. So good, so isn't it? So that's what that's all about. That's really nice. You could say uh, that's so useful. It 89 is, pounds. It's, yeah. it's a tool that you will use Definitely. forever. 89 pounds and 99 pence. It is on Flexi Buy, so don't worry. 284033 is your item number. Uh, like I said, it does have two Flexi Buy payments of 45 pounds. Here's the website. So let's go and uh, have a little recap, I think. And you can see we've got volumes two and uh, one and two because three comes in with the one day special you can get some of the templates separately lots of other dvds as well uh, with any of the dvds just choose uh where you want it where the format basically whether you want it to be the uk or for the usa uh, we've got the tassel toolkit if you want to check that out so we've got lots and lots of accessories for you again just to encourage you you've got about mm, 15 or so minutes before Gina uh, disappears um, before the five o'clock show. So you send any of your questions in to studio at hachanda.com. Uh, now we're just going to recap the one day special for you, uh, just in case you're just joining us. Everything that you see here can be done with what you mm, get in yeah. the uh, one day special. The, the possibilities are endless. These, so these are your tassel moulds, and there's so many different variations. That's what you've got. Sure, I mean, you you just you just be there for days, going, oh, I can do this one, I can do this one, yeah. I can do this yeah. one, I can do this one. To be fair, that's part of the reason why I made the boards mm -hmm. because I still design a lot of tassels, so yep. I can look at that board and I've got my numbers, and it's like, yep, okay, that's the one I need yep. for this particular project. So when I was designing something like that, I can take a look at the individual pieces. Oh, let's have a look at this. This so is beautiful. This is like a, a little fairy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cute. so we've got that is one mold at the top. Yep. That's another mold. That's another mold. Mm -hmm. And then that's another mold. So you can see how you can build them all up mm. and actually put everything together to make the complete piece that you want. So beautiful. Uh, now, again, for anybody just joining us, what do we get in the one day special? Okay, so you've got the paper layers, tassel, and bead system, yep. which is to make all of the ones that you've seen in blue. You've got six rods mm -hmm. with that. Um, you've got instructions to print out and a DVD with some helpful hints on film because I know a lot yep. of people are visual as opposed to reading. So as you can see, makes all the blue ones here on that DVD. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. And then you get the Paper Lathe Companion, mm -hmm. which is brand new, and that's so that you can make tassel stands and right. those um, are the orange ones. Yep, that's right. And some new molds, some bigger molds, um, and some additional beads with different shapes and sizes to what was on the original one. One of them looks like a spinning top. Yes, you know. it really and the one does spin. Oh, does it? Yeah, it, and it spins enough that you know that if you were to put a little pointy, little bit of a knitting needle or something in it and spin it, but I didn't have time. When I was oh, putting the worry. board together, I was spinning it and we we're going, yes, we've got to make another one, but I didn't have enough time. Oh, bless you. But you could paint it up as a little spinning top. It's Definitely. got a nice weight to it, actually. Nice. Um, so, yeah, and the other thing that you can do with the ones 
uh, with a couple of them, these cup shapes, yeah. is put them both together to make like um, egg shapes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's very really nice, nice with yeah. that. Um, and then you get the Total Trimmings Project Book Volume 3. Right. Okay. So, Volume 3 being passementary tassels. Mm -hmm. So, this is where the, the tassel making techniques come in with projects. So, yep. you've, you've got the projects for finished tassels, but taking you through different techniques and including modern techniques, you know, using yeah. paper. Um, that one is using paper and oh, threads. Yeah. So, completely different. That's amazing. But you can sort of get in and, and do things. It doesn't have to be just the traditional materials. No, that's great. I'll hand that back to you. So if you Thank want you. to go for your one-day special, £42.97. Now you've got a £10 saving, which is basically you're getting this for yes, nothing. Yes, exactly. Nothing, yeah, know? exactly. And, and that does come with a, a six millimeter rolling rod, but it will work with um, the other rods from the original system. Uh, some of the stands you mm -hmm. probably wouldn't want to use the shaped okay. ones with it. it might look a little odd, a little odd. <laughs> yeah, not a problem uh, so you can spread the cost as well two payments of 21 pounds and 49 pence 135 at 296 now we do have a deal of the day again a quick reminder of this because this is a cracking deal the usual price is 114 pounds and 35 pence you're paying nowhere near that you've got a massive 74 pounds and 36 pence saving 39.99 is what you're paying for the deal of the day and you've got the assorted glue dot collection you get the single glue dot gun and the glue dot rolls 517482 is your item number so if you're needing to stock up on your crafty stash perhaps you're running low on glue dots then we have this available for you such a good deal of the day we'll see if it lasts because we've had a couple of deal of the days that have sold out um, over the last couple of days during our birthday event Lovely. So, what do you, would well, you like to show us now? Well, explain to you. Uh, whilst I said that the paper lathe system is strips, yeah, the beads on the paper lathe system are shaped. Okay. Okay. So, when that happens, you will get more than one on a page. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, with this one, this is from the paper lathe companion. Yeah. You're you're getting effectively eight beads on one page. Okay. And that's how it is. And you cut still on the solid line. Yeah. Okay. Is that how you made? Is that how you made the necklace, or is the yes, necklace the necklaces with beads? Yeah, from the the system. So she's um, printed them out on um, different coloured papers and then um, lacquered them. Mm. I also know that um, one member of my design team will use the ultra thick embossing powder as oh, well. Yeah. Mm. So you see, all I've done is I've decorated them. Yeah, and I've decorated them on the diagonal line mm -hmm. because the most of the rest of it won't show okay okay so again you have to think about it it's often a good idea to roll one of the beads first so that you can see where it can be decorated going, yeah. then unroll it and then you can go on from there so I'm going to use the smallest rod which yeah. is the three millimeter rod and the, the principle is the same you need to start it off But because this has a straight on one side, you want to keep that straight as you're rolling. Lovely. Okay. Move that out of the way. Then a bit of glue. Bit of glue. Lots of glue. A little bit of glue. I tend to go a little bit overboard on mm -hmm. the glue. Well, it'll make it nice and firm and solid. It does when it actually sets. make it a lot firmer if yep. you have a good amount of glue on it. And again, it's the same thing. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in this show, I find it easier to go over the rod when okay. I'm rolling than to take the rod over the, that way. the paper. Okay. It just seems to um, make it a little bit easier to keep everything straight. Yeah. So you see, now we're getting a bead Yeah. that's coming through. And I like the way you've, the colours you've used, the way it's going to turn out. It's going to be Yeah, really cool. it's just, it's... It's very random, but, you know, I've, I've literally just scribbled. Just experiment at home, see what yeah. happens. What and then, there's your bead. So one bead, and it's as quick as that. Yeah. So I'll make a couple of others, just to...
So you can do this quite quickly once you get in a yeah, flow, Yeah, exactly, you? exactly. And once you sort of get the initial bit lined up, that's often the hardest with the beads, is getting it lined up so that it's straight, it's rolling straight. Yeah. But even then, to be honest, it's paper. If it's not rolling perfectly straight, it doesn't really matter. You can always have a bead that's a little bit different. Add to the character. I think it's quite nice that, that they're all a little bit different anyways. How, I wonder how long it would have taken... Uh, who did you say? Did Anne you? did that. I'm not sure how long that took Anne, but my goodness, it's a labor of love. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's the planning of it first as yeah. well, to think, okay, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to make all of the beads. But to be fair, the beads themselves probably don't take as long as putting all of it together because she's done all those as little individual links. It's I mean, it's a really amazing thing. Now, of course, you can make to sell. There's no yep. problem with that. No problem Imagine at all. what you would be charging for a necklace on the stall. That's just amazing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it does have that thing with being paper. The yeah. other thing that you can do um, is that you can use them by cutting out so you've got if you want to use a, a more decorative paper. Right. Or you could um, put the decorative paper, um, mm -hmm. actually glue that onto okay. your sheet. And so long as it's still flexible, yeah. um, you can also do it that way. So there's lots of ways that you can decorate nice. to do this. And you can do them, um, as I say, if you've cut the shape out, you can then do fabric as well. Yeah. Because you use it as a pattern. On fabric, lovely. And make fabric beads. Can you make? Could you make felt beads? Yes, you can make oh, felt excellent. beads, and there are. Is there one? There is an example of felt beads somewhere. Oh, it's over oh, on okay. the other counter. There's a little case with some, a felt case and some flowers. Felt case and some flowers. It's orangey coloured. Oh, she's saying uh, that basically you're, Molly's going to have to come in vision, so you might have to go somewhere else. <laughs> go on then. Molly's just like, ah, oh, go on. Oh, who cares? Mm -hmm. Right, on your left, near the stone, near the pebble, on the counter desk, yeah, now to the left of the pebble. That's it. Yeah. Yay. Thanking you. There That's it. And they've been made oh. with felt. So the same principle, just using her chosen design yeah. as a pattern, cutting it out, making it with felt. Very sweet indeed. Nice. So, yeah, lots and lots that you can do with mm -hmm. them. So then how would you piece these four together? So this is the thing. Okay. You can decide how you want to do it. I think that a bookmark might be quite nice, oh, that's nice. to do. So I'm going to join them together with a cord, I think. But, of course, you can use wire. Okay. Um, We've got two minutes. Oh, two minutes. Yeah. You haven't got much time. <laughs> okay. So if in the project book um, with the the ribbon tassel that's right there on this the one? side, yeah, yeah, they're using the same sort of beads, and mm. that's being connected by using wire. So I've popped a, a small regular bead yeah. at the bottom, put the wire up through, and then. A few more beads at the top mm -hmm. just to hold in, and then that's it. That's just the big ah. size of these. So you can join them together with wire. Yep. You could join them together. What I was going to do, but it, there won't be time, is to thread through cord. So threading through from this side yeah. with a knot at the end of the cord to okay. appear as a little tassel. Yeah. And then those can all be joined together to then make a bookmark where right. it all hangs out of the side. So I can sort of... Sort of show? No. Because I don't think I'll get time to do a chord for you. I don't know. We've got a minute, basically. Um, a yeah. minute's a bit, a bit tight, a bit tight. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> good, but not always that good. So, again, quick chord. Yep. Can I even get it set up in a minute? Probably not. Oh, bless <laughs> you. If not, don't worry. That's cool. I really like this little tool that we've got here. Yeah, so as I say, you do have to sort of make that yourself, but honestly, a lot of cord winding tools, if you can find them, yeah. are very pricey. So this is a really nice option. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. 30 seconds. Oh. See what we do. 
There we and go. And then backward, so there's a chord. It's not a very good chord, but Don't it'll do. Worry. We'll put a knot in this end. Yep. Because we'll get oh, the idea. It's messy. Oh, don't worry. Oh, we've got Trim. 15. 10 seconds. And then so you'd pop that it will be then. thread through. Yeah. To hang through. Brilliant. And then all of those join together to make your bookmark. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> thank right, you. Thank you. <laughs> and coming up next, we've got Quilters Trading Post Bears, Bunnies, and I can't read the rest of that. Quilts. <laughs> then we've got Clarity's 26th birthday weekend wow and artistic flesh pencils. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quote the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family hi i'm Haley. join me for some amazing fabric freedom shows fabric freedom design all their fabrics here in the uk and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilt and cottons, so tune in to the Fabric Freedom Shows here on Hachanda. Good afternoon, why did I think it was morning? I don't know. What time is it? It's two o'clock. Oh, it's two o'clock? Yes, I was, do you know why? I was just looking at the screen there and the clock behind us. Oh. I thought it said ten past twelve because it's all backwards. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Which it means it still would be afternoon. Anyway, good afternoon. Yeah. How are you? And how are you, Emma? I'm okay. I'm good. Yeah. 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 Very good there to have you go. company. Thank now, you. Now, we're, we're missing part of the team. We're missing yeah. part of the team. Yeah. Uh, and that, of course, is Pam. And we're, we're, we're going to see home. Pam in yeah. a few moments' time. We're going to see Pam over at demonstration. So Pam is here. Uh, we'll be heading over there in a few moments' time. But Emma, can yes. we first of all, of course, talk about what we've got coming up in the show? We can. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Right, so bunnies, bears and quilts this hour. Bunnies, bears and quilts. So of course we've got bunnies. Becky Bunny, um, our newest stuffed toy. Um, she's been around before, but we've got her as a kit this time. Oh, fabulous. What yes. does that mean? What do we get? So you're getting the pattern, obviously, but you're going to get all the fabrics except for the stuffing. So right. all of the fabrics is what you need. Um, she does come with ear fabric as well, this one. It's just got, it, it walked off. Um, but she's got a body fabric, her dress fabric, her ear and foot fabric yes. and then all the little bits and pieces. So she's got a tail Aww. and a ribbon. She's even got elastic eyeballs. 
um, late, oh, yeah, you can see it, all of it. Now, if you, if you excuse me for a moment, I'm mm -hmm. just going to turn little buddy round, little Becky round, <laughs> just to show you Becky's tail. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. Uh, tail. Uh, but that's gorgeous. So that comes included, so and that is yes. so sweet as well, just sticking out from that dress. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> that's sweet, but yeah. we do have the two options here, don't you we? You do, yeah. Well, I've made the cream bunny and thought, isn't she lovely? Hang on, I've got some brown fabric. It's beautiful fabric. Isn't it yeah, nice? It really is. Stars. Uh, it's so. a great price as well, £27.99 if you want to go for this. If you're a Freedom member, of course, your PMP is included. Those are the benefits of being a Freedom member. 660 two three eight you've got all the instructions easy to follow yes 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 perfect it really is in fact we're going to demo it today oh are we excellent mm -hmm. yeah excellent um, now Pam is here we're going to be demoing with Pam and there she is waving away I feel like Pam needs a white handkerchief just waving away to us <laughs> are you all right Pam you're all she's Pam says she's around. got white hair yeah. she waved that around uh, we'll be with you in a bit Oh, she's lovely. <laughs> right, so you've got the choice of yep. the fabrics. What would you suggest for the stuffing? Normal toy stuffing. Oh, okay. Nothing special. Normal yep. toy stuffing. Okay, yep. fabulous. Love that. That's Becky Bunny. We're moving on because we've got some more bunnies. Uh, we've got Cutie. And really is a cutie, this one. Little baby bunnies. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. You could go for this in addition to Becky because it would create that little family. It would make yeah. a really cute little family. So we've got a choice, haven't we, of fabrics? Yeah, again, you've got two different choices. They're both sort of cream bodied, one with flowers. One's got blue Aww. and one's got pink. Oh, is that sweet? And that's the inner part of the ears. Yeah. Again, you've got everything, including your ribbons, except for your stuffing. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, the actual fabric of the bunnies is also different, as you can see yeah. there. So the lighter one, we've got the the flowers, yeah. and then the paisley is that's on it. the other one. Now, the thing with this one is the pattern actually comes with the cutie bear pa and bunny pattern. So you can make a bear, but we've given you the fabrics for the bunny. Right. Oh, that's good. Well, excellent value for money, because yeah. if you wanted to make the bear later on, cutie bear, yeah. uh, then you can do with your own fabrics. Love that. Yeah. Uh, so your item number for that, 192284, only £11.99, which is excellent value for money. Bearing in mind, you get the fabrics, you get the eyes, you also get the pattern for cutie bear and the bunny. And the bunny. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Right, we're moving on because here mm -hmm. is Cutie Bear. Um, and we have got two choices of fabric here, haven't we? Yeah, exactly the same as the other one, but different fabrics, obviously. So you've got the bear this time. You've got your ears, you've got your body, you've got your ribbons and your eyes. Love this. Really like this <laughs> check. But I do like um, the nuts and bolts. I think it's very, tools. very sweet. Yes, it's really and great. With, uh, yes, this is a checked option, check option here, mm -hmm. and um, you still get the pattern for the bunny with this as well. You do, same same deal as the bunny, yeah. Love that, a little ribbon round of it, isn't that so oh, cute? Yeah. Um, if you wanted to, could you put something heavier in the legs so it would sit down on a mantelpiece and stay there? Yes, but you wouldn't want to put it in the legs, you want to put it in his bottom. Ah, yes. so yes, of course, because then his bottom will stay where it should. Yeah, which that's is always it. a good thing. We do actually say in the pattern. One of the things we we do mention is you don't stuff the legs right up to the top. You leave them a little bit open, and then they oh. will sit properly. Else, oh. his arms and legs stick straight out like a starfish. <laughs> Oh, so I know this because I've done it. It's a bit like <laughs> yeah. Oh, bless. So, He's lovely. Yeah, that is in the pattern. Pattern. Uh, Right, so your item number there is 0196121199. Just get to choose your fabrics. Now, we're going to meet Sydney. Is Sydney, Sydney new? Sydney's not new. No, Sydney came before Becky. Um, this is when Mum didn't want to demo a little one on live TV because it's quite small. It's not difficult, but it's quite small. So right. she came up with a bigger pattern, so that would be easy. Now, let me lift Sydney this up so you can see. This was done for a while back. Oh, this is lovely. Love the fabrics that you've got here. Yeah, so to go with your nuts and bolts little bear, you've got a big bear with these tools. I like that. There you fun. go. So he's got his hammer on there, his measuring tape. Um, he's got his screwdriver there for his nose. He's a bit of a, he's a, bit of a punk, actually, because he's got his screwdriver going into his <laughs> nose. His nose yeah. so he's a bit of a punk rocker. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you'll see here, he's a little mad because he's got a screw loose at the top. <laughs> <laughs> He's lovely. And you've got Sydney with the flowers. Really like this fabric. Yeah, this Very is kind of a nice. modern funky one, isn't it? Yeah. Now, two-thirds of the stock has gone. Is that of the flower pattern? Yes. Two-thirds of the stock of the flower pattern has gone. Wow. It's really nice. I mm. like that. 
very very nice and that, it's a nice straightforward easy pattern you'll see we're going to make the bunny but it's a, it's the same style pattern oh, I see. for the bear yeah so slightly differences because they're different sizes different shapes but the, the, the set out is the same same technique again mm. you get the full instructions with that just yep. your choice of fabric for nine nine ninety nine yeah that is I'd go for two. I would. I'd go for two because yeah. they're they're both delightful. Uh, we're very very busy. I think you are multi buying with these. I don't think they're going to stay around very long. <laughs> That's an excellent price. Thanks for that. That really no is. Problem. We've got, got good wonderful. prices on these bears and things. Yeah, we yeah. certainly have. Uh, I say we. It's like the, I, I always add myself oh. to the company. I hope oh, you, 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 is you, that you, all right? You join in. Yes. Yeah, By now, I'm a director of every company. It's great. I'm just like <laughs> yes. We will be sending this out to you. We are giving you a discount. <laughs> <laughs> always myself on uh, right okay let's move on because yep. we've got some quilts for you this is your sweet shop quilt kit sweet shop quilt kit say it at home say it fast it's quite <laughs> hilarious what are we getting in the kit here okay so you're going to get everything for the top of the quilt so top you, of the quilt you've okay. got your panel which is in the middle yep, the let's turn. oh yeah the right way up yeah. Okay. okay, and then in the roll that you're seeing are two and a half inch strips, which makes up all of these borders yes. plus the binding. Wow, let me so. grab that. I'm going to go in here and just grab what you're getting so you can see that. So these bits will put together all of the outside. Yep. I like that, all pre-cut as well. Really nice fabrics. Yeah. And then is this one? This is the panel, so that's there. Perfect. All the way through. So you can see that that's that. Yep. Love that. And, and that makes it easy to make. It really does. This is going to be a really quick and easy project yeah. to make up when you want to make something for a little girl present, last minute, easy. Yeah. You've got to do your own quilting, obviously, and you don't get yes. the wadding in the backing, but okay. you do get everything you can see. Okay, perfect. Yep. Love that. And if you wanted to get the pie, pie paper, binding, pie, binding that's the word it's included. I was going for. And that's included. It is. Yep. It's a great deal, isn't it? Seventeen ninety nine. How delightful. Yeah. If you've never made a quilt before, what a great quilt oh, to start really with. Really quick and fun to do. And yeah. it's gonna give you confidence, isn't it? I think Emma? so, yeah. I think definitely. so. I really do. Like that. Very, very colourful. Uh, so you've still got time to do some tea parties outside. The summer hasn't gone. No, just not yet. yet. Uh, right, we're moving on because we have got the girly frilly snuggle quilt kit. I thought if you're thinking sweet shop is difficult, wait for this one. <laughs> girly frilly snuggle Quilt. Quilt kit. I got carried away with the name in that one. <laughs> I love that. I love that. This is beautiful. Right, let's yeah. open this one and see what we can make with this. Oh, uh, the way up. Oh, that's it. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. Oh, I like the top and bottom. Just a bit of fun, this one. I thought I'd go out the side of the box. So we've got a, a frilly top and bottom. Okay, so it comes already pre-cut. It doesn't come pre-cut, but you have got the template in the pattern to cut it and tells you how to do it. Ah, oh, brilliant. So it's in there in the pattern. It's also, this one, I've tied it. So it's really easy. My friend in America, she always ties her quilts. You don't have to worry about your quilting, your free motion or anything like that. I've just tied a little bit of ribbon through and back again in each of the square corners. So quick, so simple. I have top stitch around the edge. You've tied it together? I've tied it. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's Is there any stitching at all? You've got to sew your squares together. Yes. Okay, you're going to sew your top and bottoms on, yeah. cut your frill, yes. and then you put it together, front and back together, face to face, wadding on the back, and you sew it round the edge. Wow. Turn it through, yes. top stitch it round, tie the quilt. I've just told you how to make it, but you're going to get the fabric. <laughs> Amazing. It's that quick and easy, actually. Wow. Yes, this is a nice little project. Oh, that is a nice project, and I really like the fabrics in here. Aren't they uh, just the yeah. cutest? You've got a bit of Mary Engelbright there. Beautiful. I love her. Mary Engelbrook, and then some bees, a bit of everything in there. Do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of um, Rupert the Bear. Other bears are available, but that oh, kind okay. of style of drawing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's where my mind just went straight yeah, back to that. Sure. Um, and yeah, they are climbing up that beanstalk, Jack they and the are. Beanstalk. Yeah. But do you know what? It's one of my favourite stories. Was it really? Ever. Oh. ever. And I've grown beans ever since falling in love with that story. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, but yeah, I don't find a golden egg duck or whatever uh, it is at the top. A geese laying goose, golden eggs. Yeah, yeah. No, I've never, never found one. Never find one. No, just lots of bees. Uh, anyway, right, moving on. Talking about planting beans, here's your fun farm little quilt kit. It's the quilt of the kit yes, it's that the I have a bit of bit. trouble with. Yeah, throws you. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is an adorable kit. Let's get this, this out is. and show you. I've done a little girly one, so this one could be girls, but it's oh. predominantly boys, isn't it? 
Lovely. Yeah, look so at what that. do we get in the kit? Okay, again you're gonna get ooh, all the fabrics for the top yep. and the binding. Okay. So you've got uh, Is that a panel at the top? It is a, no, it's not a panel, it's a border. Ah, print. A border, sorry. So there you go. No, that's that's let me it is. try You're just far off. Yeah. open this up just so you can see. If I give you that. Yep, so you can see the where I've just sewn it straight on the top. Oh, see, that's easy. Easy. It's so is. easy. Again, just squares. Yep. Very effective, a very quick, easy project to do. So a beginner would be fine with this one. Perfect. So we get that. We also get the binding that I can see the there binding. to go around the outside. The strips of these fabrics are cut to the size of the square, so all you've got to do is cross cut them Great. into the size of the squares. So you've got your pink pigs, you've got your clouds, you've got your cows, you've got your chickens. Um, I, I love think that's it. this yep. in the farmyard. You've got a little doggy there. That looks like my Isn't Millie. Cute. There you go. Um, you've got the, and geese. the sheep and the geese. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a little squirrel in there. How lovely. How lovely. And I guess with something like this, if you wanted to, another technique that you could do, Emma, mm -hmm. is probably just lift out the clouds by putting a bit yes. of stuffing inside to make it really tactile yeah, for the little ones. Yeah, Yeah, mm, like definitely. that. If you want to get hold of this, £16.99, 917381. Okay. Uh, I think that's lovely. And again, okay. you get... Uh, the instru sorry, I took that away. The instructions uh, 1699 917 Right, now we've got to pick a mix for you. And this is your pattern pick a mix. You get to choose any three in this pick a mix. So we've got lots of different ones for you to choose from. Uh, 1499 for three. If you want six, and that price will just change accordingly to just under £30, it's entirely up to you. But you've got a whole array of different quilts. Yeah. Which three? Would you choose, Emma? Me, um, probably straight away. Log cabin harmony quilt. Yes. In the cabin wall hanging. Yes. And then, oh gosh, it's a toss between Liberty Star or Prairie Rose. Mm. Now, if I was choosing, I like yeah, Liberty Star. Uh huh. It's a lovely I'd go one. For, yeah, I go for Liberty Star. That Christmas one's quite nice. For Christmas, I'd have to do that one. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd go for Liberty Quilt. I'd go for Christmas. Oh, that Look one. Look at that one. Yeah. That's, that's a beastie a of a project, that one. That's a big quilt. Wow. Mm -hmm. that was, that's, that's challenging. I like that. <laughs> that is gorgeous. They're all lovely, though. And they you are. get the full instructions, don't you? Yes. You just choose your own fabrics to make yep. and create. Fourteen ninety nine for any three of those. Head to the website, have a look, and then check on out. Actually, that's a nice one with the love hearts. Oh, no, it no, is. that disappearing nine patch quilt. I like that. It's a good beginner one, that one. Is it? Nice little tabletop quilt. Yeah, really good, that one. Oh, yep. I love that. And good sizes. Blue Sky Synth Spinner is a jelly roll quilt kit. Oh, or quilt the, pattern, rather. The flight plan quilt. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Very 10 inch nice. squares. Yep. Oh, you've got some lovely ones to choose from. <laughs> uh, you've <laughs> just got to choose. If you can't choose, have the lot. The price will change accordingly. Oh, yeah. 816768 is your item number. Let's take a look at the website. This is where you can head to to see all the items available for you on the show today. Uh, and it gives you a chance to head to the pick and mix. Gives you a chance to have a look at the quilt, see what's in the kit, see what is of your choosing. And if you wanted to open up a flexi buy, you're more than welcome to do so if your purchases come to £60 or more. It's a good way of spreading the cost. It's a good way of treating yourself and spreading the cost. Just like buying a holiday and paying for it half this month and half next month. It doesn't seem so bad, does it? And then you enjoy it even more. You really do. We've got some books for you on the show. You can go and check those out if you want to and have a peruse. Um, in fact, if you're watching us on the television and you've got your computer open or your tablet or your smartphone, download the Hochander app. You can have a look at all the items in the show as we go through them, as we demonstrate, and then maybe add them to your basket if you want to. It's a fun way to shop uh, and it's a great way to shop as well. Right, as promised, we are now here with Pam. You're right, Pam. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, and I'm quite happy. Oh, you've yeah. been making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're lovely. What are we going to look at, Pam? It's Emma again, I'm afraid. Oh, I should it? just be sewing. Emma's oh. doing all the work this time, and I'm just enjoying myself. You are doing lots of work, Pam. Yeah, I should but be yes, sewing. You do enjoy yourself. She's my machine sewing assistant. Yes. I like that. Yep. I like that. You're a mechanical nice. engineer. Oh, yes, definitely. Yes. So next month, it'll be more me. Mm. Mm. Oh, how mm. exciting. Mm. Yeah. Does that say something news coming in next? Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of new things coming up. Mm. I'm practicing my. Oh, she does it. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Uh, right. Okay. Um, let's get going. 
Becky Bunny. Becky Bunny. Okay, we've done the dress yeah. in the past. Ooh, we I'll have get, done the I'll get Becky Bunny. Oh, here yes. she is. Oh, She's hopping in. Here she comes. She here she comes. There she goes. And oh, there she goes. There you are. <laughs> and it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt her bottom because she's got a fluffy little bottom. Yeah, there. she's, so, oh, yeah, she's yeah, fine. She's nice. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so you've got your pattern. Um, we've got what I've done. Oh, what am I doing? I'm heading gear. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as normal, we've got all our instructions with our diagrams and things. So we're going to put those aside because I know what I'm doing. I've got my dress instructions, but I'm going to put those aside because we're not doing that. But what I have got is my paper pieces. Now these are all full size paper pieces as normal. Um, and what the first thing you would do is cut them out. Okay. I actually find, I was thinking about this, you could lay them on your fabric like this, but they'd all be in funny directions. It's nice to lay your patterns straight. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. okay. So you would cut them out and then you can position them on your fabric better. Um, just for anybody who's never done something like this before, I've put cut two. You need two bodies, but you need them in a pair. So don't cut them with the fabric right side up twice. You need one right side up, one wrong side up. So they make a pair. Okay. I did have somebody have a problem with that one. So I've changed that now. So there you go. Okay. All right, we've cut that out. Now what I, I do when I'm making any kind of soft toy is I leave my um, paper pattern pieces on my fabric until I'm ready to sew them so that I remember what they are. Um, make sure you've got all your little snips. These little black lines are snip marks. So you put little snips in there. If you can see that, I've just snipped it a little bit. Perfect. There we go. I just like doing that with Okay, so we have the first thing to do is our head side piece. Right sides together, you're just going to sew down what is on the pattern, the centre front seam. That's the first thing. Okay, I've done all this in a nice bright pink thread. I tend to do it in the same colour as the fabric, but I thought I'd just do it so you could see it better. Okay. It doesn't so look like a bunny's head yet, but it will do. It will do. So there you go, that's his front of his nose, or her, she's Becky. Can I just take this moment to give you some breaking news? Oh, yes, you can. Sydney has gone and sold out. She never oh. has, she ran off. Yeah, oh, Sydney grief. has sold out, so oh. wave goodbye everyone. Bye. Bye bye Sydney. Gosh. Thank you very much Sydney. Thank you. Yeah. Sydney you can, can see be either a girl's name or a boy's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah this it one's can. Sydney was my dad. Oh, was it? My oh. dad was Sydney. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's lovely. Well, Sydney's sold out, unfortunately, but yeah. we're talking about Becky Bunny now. Yeah. Becky. Becky's all right. You're all right for Becky. Yeah. All right, then. So we've got the centre front seam. The next thing is the head centre, which is like a kind of a gusset. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this straight over to Mum to show you how to pop that one in there. Because yeah. this makes the front of her head, that shaped front yeah. of her nose. Here we go. Now, this is the bit you're going to stitch it into, this piece here. And that is going to go in there. Like that, and round and down. So it's like putting a gusset in again. Yeah, you have got a snip in the front of the, the nose. You've got a snip that, that tells you how to do it, where yeah. to put it. I'm doing this the right way around. That's that way. That's it. Ah. Oh. See, you have to think, even when you've done hundreds of them, you've still got to think. Yes. Yeah. What I've done is I press that little seam open there and press um, and put that to where that little thing is. And put a pin in. Could you turn Becky Bunny into like a doorstop? Oh yes. yes. If you were to, yeah. again, what would you use? Rice? Rice is really rice. good. Rice yeah. sand would work. Sand's yes, good. Yes, sand, yeah. sand or rice. Yeah. You can get plastic toy pellets. They work really well as well because mm. then they don't matter if they get a little bit damp. Mm. Which I think is, because then, you know, sometimes it's nice to have um, Becky Bunny on a chair in your favourite room or on a mm, bed, mm. But, but having yeah. her there all the time, just by mm. one of the, one of the doors, maybe upstairs in the bedroom, is lovely. Oh, like really that. cute. Yeah. We always had a teddy bear leg in my mum and dad's bedroom door to hold the door open, didn't a you? Teddy yeah. bear leg. Teddy bear leg. <laughs> yeah. I had a friend who had made this teddy bear, and in the days when you couldn't buy stuffing easily because it was so expensive, yes, she'd put old tights in it, oh, and it idea. weighed a ton. <laughs> it weighed a ton, and of course the leg dropped off, didn't it? That's how I got this teddy that was legless. <laughs> and it was a very heavy leg, so we used it as a doorstop. <laughs> Good idea, yeah. <laughs> Love it. When I was a kid, that's what you had. Yeah. You had a teddy bear leg as a doorstop. <laughs> It's a long time ago. Yeah, well, you I know, was just told to sit by the door. I was the doorstop. Well, you, you door were stop. the doorstop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to stop moving. <laughs> right, so you're going to stitch this in now. Can you see what I've done? Pin that to the middle and then pin that to there and there. And I've um, matched up matched up the, the snips. So that makes it easy to see what you're doing. Now, 
you always go from the side, stitch from the side that's more curved up. It's like putting a gusset in. And I always say, go from that side because that's the side you put your little snips in. Okay. So you want the flat side it's down, don't you? It's very, very difficult to stitch it with the flat side up. And that's where people have a problem with it and think they can't do it, and you jolly well can if you do it the right way around. Again, with the pattern, the instructions are in yes. the kit, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Some of these things are basic sewing things that you learn when you're dressmaking, really. Yeah, um, yeah. And then when you get to there, can you see that's not going to fit in there? It's just not going to fit. Well, it will if I put some snips in it. Yeah, if you're ever getting to a bit that's a bit tight, mm, snips are a really bit. good way to do it. Make sure your snips aren't too big because mm. you don't want them going past your seam. Yes. Mm. But um, they do just take the pressure off. That's a good good tip. Yeah. If you've got any questions, by the way, please do email in yeah. studio at hochander.com. They'd love to hear from you, the ladies. <laughs> and if you want to leave a message on Facebook Live or show us some of your inspiration that you've made and created, I'm sure that Emma and Pam would love to see that. It's always nice yeah. for you to see what people have been it up really to. Is. Yeah. I've had a message or oh, two, two, well, not just long ago, not long ago, from a lady who sent me a picture of um, one of our dolls and a. Pony, one of the Henry horses she'd made. Mm. Oh. I would have brought, I didn't have time, it was not yeah. long ago. Yeah. So, really cute, I love to see him. Mm. And she'd made a good job of it. Yeah. You made, you did quite a big seam there, Emma. Did I do a big you seam? You did do a big seam, I yeah. did do a big seam. But even if you do a big seam, it'll still work. <laughs> we each have our own ways of working, Emma and I, and her yeah. bears and teddies and things are always different sizes to mine. Oh, they are actually, yeah. Mine always come out a little bit smaller than mine's because I do bigger things. How oh, right. Mm. Well, I don't know. I mean, they all stuff tighter. I also stuff mine a lot tighter. Yeah. yeah. Why do you do bigger seams? Is there any rhyme or reason for it? No. No. It's just the way I line my fabric up with the edge of the foot. Yeah. And it doesn't really matter. It's, no. it's good to, if you've done big seams, keep doing them all the way through the project. Swapping over and doing a small seam and then a big seam isn't the greatest idea, and it doesn't work in quilts. You so be one, really one, secure one in that. Bear. But with bears and things, <laughs> I swapped sewing machines in the middle of a quilt once, and I made the middle with one machine and the border with another yes. machine, yeah. and the border wouldn't fit. Oh, really? I'll tell you what it was. Mm. It was that um, log cabin one. It was the log cabin harmony. I had to take it all off and redo it. Oh, why yeah. didn't you take it off and redo it? Because by that point, I wanted to cry. Oh, <laughs> it took me a week to make you. that quilt. Yeah, yeah she's really oh. good. You see, that's why you make such a great team. We're a good team, yeah. Oh, yeah. I couldn't bear to have a upset over that. It wasn't a problem. I'm picking. I like unpicking. Yeah, she I does. really like unpicking. <laughs> I'm a bit sad. No, you're not. You're lovely. <laughs> I'm not always lovely, am I? No, no, she's horrible most of the time. <laughs> um, no, I've not. got something else to mention quickly, if oh, I may, oh, yeah, if I may, it. before we show the results of that. The crossbody tote bag. Uh -huh. um, you know, Becky Bunny, you just go in there, yeah. Becky Bunny. Um, it is the pattern to make and create this fabulous bag. Mm. I love that. So if you want mm. to go for the pattern, it's nine ninety nine, mm. um, and you can you perhaps use some of your own fabric if you want to. Uh, we're very very busy for this. It's a very handy bag to have. You've got the handles at the top so you can use it there you go you can use it as <laughs> a, a carry carrier bag which I like but you've also got the handles there you can unclip or use it crossbody and I do like the fact that you've got your pocket in the side you've got a pocket down the front as well that you've got a press stud in and you've got the opportunity if you wanted to put a zip in the top I guess you can do you and you've got a pocket in the side as well really like that good for your crafts soft crafts mm. good mm -hmm. for going shopping or traveling so yeah. if you do want to get the pattern it's 9.99 there you go very very busy for that i thought we would tell you uh two four three four four six i've got a lot of fabric lined up for that i've got one i've bought in to use all the time i love it yes um and it's wonderful for craft um quilt shows and things and craft shows because you've got a crossbody and Got yes. your hands free for all your bags and things you're buying. I mind. like, yeah. yes, I like your thinking there, yeah, Pam. You've got, like got, got your water in it. got my fabric mm. lined up to make yeah. a few for myself too. Mm. Perfect. Right, I love that. I'll put that okay. down there and we'll carry on talking about Becky. Right. So there's Becky's new face. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got it's your nose. Silence of the lamps. <laughs> I didn't think that. <laughs> so you've got, you've got the face, there's Sorry. the nose, there's the face. That's her forehead. Okay, yep. we're going to put that aside. We'll just leave it there. Mm. Okay. <laughs> 
Halloween. We're going to make the ears next because the ears, need, ears will need to go in next. Mm. So you have, obviously, you've got a pink side and a brown or beige side. Yes. Pair a pink or an inner ear and an outer ear together. So don't put two browns or two beiges together because you'll have an odd ear then. Yes. Obviously. Somebody might like an odd ear on their bunnies. You know? We well, have one pink and one whatever colour. Yeah, <laughs> don't yeah. do that. Okay, and then just sew around the edge, leaving that straight bottom open because that's going to be your turning. Okay. And I've already done that. You can see the stitching lines just about mm. around the edge. Yes. Because we're patchwork and quilters, we use a quarter inch seam. Mm. Okay. All right, so the next thing you want to do is just snip the top. You don't want to go quite to the, the stitches, but you're just going to take a little bit of the fullness out. Mm. This is not great, but they do. We've got some really good ones. No, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, and just to turn it through, and it's, again, nothing fancy about turning it through. I'll take my finger all the way down to the end, pick it through. What's she doing on this needle? She does. Yes. That was very good, Emma. Oh, I am very geez, impressed with that. I've made indoors. a few of these, yeah. I dare you. And then something that's pointy but not sharp to poke just the end out. And then actually, when I'm coming back up, I just push whatever it is into that seam to pull it out. You can a nice tool for that. You a, can. A wooden tool or a plastic tool. You can. Yeah. And they're great. I just don't have one, so I don't use it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so when you do that, that actually helps you push those edges out and you're going to press that. Yes. And what you'll end up with is one of these. She did that Beautifully pressed. pressed. I know. It was good, wasn't it? The most oh, quickest pressing. presser in the West. I don't even need an iron. So you've got another one here. <laughs> Oh, we're here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so got one over there, I've got one here. One here. <laughs> Sorry. Here, mm. here. <laughs> <laughs> right, so fold it so the inner ear is on the inside and give it a quick finger press. And then you're going to fold the side into that middle, side into the middle. Give it to me. Okay. Stitch. Yep, I'm going to pop a couple of pins in and then you're just going to tack it in place so that when you stitch it to the head it doesn't unfold. When you say tack you just mean machine it across a bit less than the Yeah. Similar. Okay. So I've actually done this one. We don't ever do hands okay. tacking well not very do rarely. Not? No very rarely. Oh gosh who's got time for that? You've got thread a needle and everything. Yeah. The machine's already there. Yeah. Oh, so oh, so yeah. I've just sewn straight along the top there. Okay. And I did a really small seam so and it's yeah. gonna kind of bunch up but that doesn't matter because when you sew it in you're gonna fold it back in and pin it into yeah. the head. Okay. And another thing, if you do do it wider, and you can see it when you turn it through, just don't pick them stitches. Yeah, yeah. no That's problem. All. So we're going to take the head back. You've got two seams there on the top of the head from where Mum put the gussety bit in. Take the pins out. Okay. You're just going to line up that centre seam or centre join with that centre seam there. Oh, I see. And just pop that on for now. In fact, get your pin head on the outside. And that will become, you'll know why, in a minute, if you don't already. Again with that one. And then pop it aside for just a second. Because the next thing is the back of the head. Okay. Now I've noticed on Becky Bunny with the ears, mm -hmm. would you say this runs true? The seam that goes up from the eye oh, yeah. then just runs into yeah. the ear. So that's a good way yeah. of, of measuring yeah. where, where to put yeah. it. Where the, where the fold is. Yes. You know, I think there's the possibly snips on the head to, to, to line it up with. You yeah. don't really need to worry you for this. Snips for that because it's, it's no. the seam. You yeah. do for your bear, I think, but you yeah. don't for this one. Yeah. Okay. Just run it there. Lovely. Thank you. Alrighty. So, back of the head, I've already done that seam. Um, mm. Centre back seam. But this one says leave open. So you've got a snip there, you leave open from there to there. So I've done that. I've sewn down there down to there. And that's the back of her head. And you leave that open so you can turn it through later. And for other things we'll tell you about. So open that up. And you're going to make the head now. So top of the head goes to this little snip in the middle. Okay. You pop a pin in there. And I like to, same as mum, I like to open that yeah. seam up just so you can line it up really nicely. It's not like patchwork where you press to one side. Yeah. No, no. There's a reason for that though. Oh. We've got snips there to line it up with. Because these are shaped, you have more snips mm. in them so that you can line them up because the fabric stretches when mm. it's on a curve, okay. which is a good thing. You want it to stretch because mm. it makes it easier to fit it in, but you want it to line up properly so you don't have a squiffy head. Keep the ears on the inside. And when I pull that kind of taut, that ear will be in the right place. And just pop that pin out, pop it back in again. Just a 
vividly think for I a like second. those pins. They're quite long, aren't they? They're mm. great. Yeah, patchwork and quilting pins tend to be longer. Yeah. And I and use those all finer. the time. Finer, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I like those better than the normal dressmaking little pins because they're a pain. Them, yeah, they yeah. really can be, can't they? Yeah. These ones with a flat head, you can machine over them easy as well. Because they're so fine. Yeah. yeah. And, oh. Well, the, the head's flat as well, so it doesn't get hooked up. Got you. But Be you careful. don't thunder over no. Look, I no. put the pinhead on the inside. Yes. This is why you don't put the pinhead on the inside when you're putting the ears in, because you can't get it out. Mm. Um, <laughs> you can stitch one at a time over a pin. You can just do it with your hand thingy. Yes, yeah. but it does keep your seam steady. You know, it doesn't push it apart. There we go. So that's pinned all the way around. You're actually going to sew right from the neck, which is this bottom edge, all the way around in one long seam. Just make sure you don't catch your ears in it. There you go, Mum. Oh, what stitch is ears in? It's a girl. Her. Her. Could be a he. No, it's a her. Oh, no, it's a her. It's Becky. 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 Now, while Mum's doing that, we're going to make some arms because the head's then done. So, again, the arms are the easiest bit. You've got two of these right sides together all the way around, leaving a gap for opening and again, or oh, turning, it says that. Perfect. Pattern. Okay, two of those, turn them through. If you want, just to take some of the fullness out, you can snip it. I wouldn't suggest trimming too much off this seam okay. because this has got to be turned through and stuff and you don't yes. want to lose your... So just a little bit. Just a little bit. I suppose bit. there's no arm in that. There's no arm in that. No, it's arms. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have seen patterns where you take little triangles out. Oh, I don't think you need to. Oh, really? really? Just snip yeah, it? Yeah, just snip it. Oh, yeah. And you don't oh, no, really have to do that. Mum doesn't do the snipping either. No, I do. no, no, not for that curve no. way, no. And I actually, when I turn oh, no, it through, I turn good. it through that opening because it's bigger than the top. Okay. So it's just easier. I was very I lucky. I did just making at school. Yeah. Did college, you? yeah, I did, yeah. Wonderful. I and they don't do things like that anymore, yeah. do they? We did sewing. I did some sewing. I made mm. a stuffed Dalmatian. A big mm. one. Wow, I made a purse. Did you, you made a what? Wow. Per I made purse. Oh, lucky thing. Ooh, that sounds better. Mm. Oh. Well, I just used to draw around my hand and then oh. Oh, stick felt eyes oh. and nose on it. Yeah. Oh, oh. that's brilliant. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so turn through. In fact, I've got three arms now. I only need two. <laughs> Because it's oh. that easy to make them. I didn't think I'd get that far, but I thought actually it's really easy. So those are arms are done. You do turn them right side out and we pop them aside. Okay. Okay. So far, easy to follow, isn't it? It is so yeah. simple. This is an easy yeah. bear to make. And no, it's not a bear. It's even. not a bear, it's a, it's bunny. a bunny. The bears and the bunnies are all made, oh, as I say, the same sort of technique, just different shaped pieces. And different ears. Well, just as we are mm. sewing around the head, shall yeah. we take a look at the website? It is where you can see the seven day savers. Um, and it's fabric, believe it or not. So why don't you go and have a look at that? It's 100% cotton, uh, £11.99 if you want to go for that. That is a deal that's going to run all the way through till Sunday when we launch another seven day saver. So it might be an idea if you're feeling in the stitchy mood to go and have a look at that and order it. You might want to use that with some of the quilt patterns that we've got available for you on the show. That could be a very good idea. It could indeed do be. Uh, the seven-day savers, of course, we launch brand new seven-day savers every Sunday. So uh, we can have a look at some of the others, yeah. So uh, it's for all crafters, not just soft craft. So we've got some grey board in there. Uh, Zutter, or if you're a, a, a nutter for Zutter, then here's a great deal, 19 .99. You can add those to your baskets. Uh, door stops, oh, we were just talking about door stops. Um, there you go. Right, so... We're back with Becky, the two Beckys, uh, and we're just building and creating Becky, and I'm sure you'll admit how easy it is to put together. You get the full instructions uh, for Becky. They're very, very easy to follow as well. So the ladies are going to hold your hands all the way through. All you need to do is choose the fabric. With the fabric, you get the lovely lace detail, you get the eyes, you get the tail. That is, that is a fluffy bunny tail, if ever I saw a fluffy bunny tail. That is gorgeous. It really, really is. Um, so you get the tail included, you get the fabrics. The major difference really is the body of Becky, whether you want to go for that lovely golden or whether you want to go for the darker gold colour. Now, stock-wise, cream is 20% gone. 20% gone of the cream. Uh, really ought to turn the put these either way but anyway that's 20% of the cream and if you all you have to do is head to the website 
238. Let me swap you lovely Becky ladies around. There you go. So you match accordingly to your fabrics. Um, so that's Becky. Oh, that's so sweet. This is cutie. Um, oh, and he or she is a real cutie. You've got two choices in fabric here as well. But the interesting thing is the pattern that you're getting, you also get the pattern for the bear as well. So the pattern for cutie bear and bunny is included and you get your fabric. Now this has gone limited. 192284 eleven ninety nine. It's a great price and all you do is choose between the pink or the blue. So predominantly we've got the pink or predominantly the blue. And blue is three quarters. So did we say blue is three quarters and pink is limited. Pink is limited, blue is three quarters. Right, here is that bear. I love this bear. This is Cutie Bear. And Cutie Bear comes in two different options as well. You've got the check and you've got the nuts and the bolts. Love that. Really think that's funky. And you've got the red elements to go in the ears. You've got the um, ribbon and it also includes the eyes as well. 11 99 but of course, with that pattern, you're also getting Cutie Bunny as well. So the pattern of Cutie Bunny goes with the pattern for Cutie Bear. And in this deal, you're getting the fabrics to make Cutie Bear. 019612 is your item number. 11 99 11 .99. it's a great price, it really is. Making and creating these fabulous bears. It could be a gift for somebody. Dare I say Christmas. It could be that you collect bears and this is something you're going to make and place in your home. I think it's super. I really, really do. And so do you. You could put initials on the foot if you wanted to. Maybe you know someone's getting married. Maybe someone's got a new home um, and you could put their initials. Maybe someone's birthday, their special birthday, which is really nice. Or for a christening. Oh, that would be really nice. That really would. I don't know what you'd do if they had a middle name. Anyway, uh, let's move on. We've got some quilts. And let's have a look at the Sweet Shop Quilt Kit. Over half of the stock has gone. This is a great project, it really is. Let me just open this up because what you're getting, if I hold there, you've got the panel. So you've got the panel here, which is all one. So it's great, isn't it? And then you've got all the other fabrics to go around the outside. Is that log cabins, ladies, around the outside? It's more of a rail fence. It's more of a rail fence. That's a new one. Rail fence. I've learned something new today. I thought I was doing good with my log cabins. It's a similar thing. It's a similar thing. Okay, so it's more of a rail fence. Rail fence. See, learning every day is school day. Uh, and then quilt over it, and that looks fantastic. It really, really does. A very easy project to put together. If you are a beginner, you're going to be very proud when you make and create that. You really are. It's going to give you the confidence to go on to other quilts. It really is. Uh, so if you do want to get a hold of that, 382765. Talking of other quilts, we do have the Girly Frilly Snuggle Quilt Kit. Woo! Uh, I am getting through these names. Now, I love this. Let's get this the right way. Now, it's your choice whether you go, um, whether you cut it in that fashion at the top, but I think that looks really good. I really do. So you've got the opportunity to do that. You've got the lovely panels in here as well, or rather the squares, and then all you have to do is place that together. Another one that you're going to get, lots of confidence making, 970260. You get the fabric and you get the pattern to build and create that, which is fabulous. There you go. And then the next one along, this is your Fun Farm Little Quilt Kit. I am getting good at that. Um, I love this one. Oh, this is so lovely. It really is. So you get that... Um, the top part is all one, so that's going to be easy for you to put together. And then you've got your uh, squares to put together. Yeah, for a play mat, it's going to be perfect. If you wanted to have any of these raised, you could put some little stuff inside and then maybe just quilt around there. I think that would look extra special. Sixteen ninety nine if you want to go for that. 917381 is your item number, just £16.99. Right, we have got a pick and mix for you that we're busy on. The pick and mix is right here. You get to choose any three any three of these patterns in the pick and mix it's a great price as well if you want to go for more than three you're more than welcome to do so but the price will change accordingly 14.99 the christmas cookie is the most popular the christmas cookies quilt right most popular i do yeah i do have one here let's show you this oh, it's even better when you see it isn't it i mean i'm just going to lift it over me because there you go can you see that at home 
There. It's lovely, isn't it? And that is proving to be very, very popular. So that is your pick and mix. Choose any three. Again, you can choose more if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Perfect. So that's your pick and mix. Now, I've got some news on Cutie Bunny. I have indeed. Cutie Bunny, is it just in the blue? Both Cutie Bunnies have sold out. Oh. 11.99 cutie bunnies have gone 192284 is your item number sold out so well done everyone we have got hold of your cutie bunny um absolutely beautiful still have cutie bear we still have cutie bear very busy though we still have cutie bear uh, so you might want to consider cutie bear because with cutie bear by the way you still get the pattern for cutie bunny so it's kind of a win-win situation. Yeah, yeah. You're getting the fabric. So we're sold out of Cutie Bunny, but go for Cutie Bear. You get your fabric to make Cutie mm -hmm. Bear, and you've got the pattern to make Cutie Bunny. I mean, you could use the bear fabric for the bunny, but you will need a little bit more for the ears. Yes. The ear right. lining. Yeah. That's not enough. Well, in there there's, for a, that. there's That's it. Yeah, it's a choice. Yeah. Right, back to Becky. Okay, right. So Mum's sewn all the way round her head. We're just going to turn it through. Yank by the ears, that's the way to do it. So we have a we have a bunny head. Okay. All ready to stuff. Oh, no, not yet. There we are. It's not got okay. a body. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pop that aside. So we've got arms and we've got a head. We're gonna need legs. Yes. Okay. So again I've got my pieces there and the same as the arm I've done the pre-sewing for you. So this one, you go down the front, around the toes, don't sew the bottom, go up the back, leave a gap for turning, and then all the way up to the top, leaving the top open. Okay, once you've done that, you've got to put the sole in because she needs a bit of sole. Okay, so you snipped. Oops, I didn't put any snips in. I forgot my snips. Don't forget to snip. No, Don't no, forget to snip. And why is snips important? It just means you can line up the toe and the heel and yes. the side without it getting twisted. Perfect. Oh, I've got some news on the tote bag. Oh. We just lean down and you get, get hold of this. Mm. Oh, I don't know why my muscles aching today. Mm. Oh, what have I been doing? Do you ever get that? A muscle ache? You think, what, what was I doing oh, yeah, yesterday? Yeah. yeah, it's usually when I've been holding certain things to read. They're yeah, heavy. Maybe I was <laughs> holding. Oh, I don't know. I've been working out and I didn't even know it. Um, the tote bag, the pattern for the tote bag, 9 99 It's a beautiful bag to make and create and it's proven to be very popular. So we wanted to remind you of that. 243 446. And if you watch back at 11 o'clock today, that was when the ladies were on, yeah. um, you can watch the demonstration of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, along with the pattern, so I just mm. wanted to remind you of that. I hope you didn't mind. Sorry, Not Emma. At Sorry, all. Pam. No, that's fine. No, no, it's always nice to remind people. Yes. You know, when we're getting busy, yeah. I don't like anyone to miss out. Yeah, no. no, absolutely not. We can't be having that. Right. Okay. I folded my foot in half, lined up those two seams, and I've just popped a little snip there as well. Um, so. The front and the back are pretty much the same. I think the front's slightly narrower. It doesn't matter if you don't get it right because it won't look any different. It won't make any difference. So yeah. small. Okay, so snip to the front seam. I've pressed that seam open with my finger again. You're going to be sewing with the sole to the machine like that. So you want the pin on the top. I always get this wrong, so I have to think about it myself. I did it the opposite way around on the head as well. From did what you? you did, but it didn't yeah, matter. No. But this will matter more. This more. will. Okay, mm. again, back of the heel. Pin, don't stick it in your finger. Oh, I've just remembered what I was doing. Ah. It, I think it was when I was passing the chihuahuas over the fence. Like, <laughs> like that kind of action. The chihuahuas? As you do. Yeah, my, <laughs> my next door neighbour's got two chihuahuas and oh. my dog's obsessed with them. Oh, <laughs> and they're all the bestest of friends. And at mm -hmm. five, this is the truth, at 5.30 every day, Millie goes out and sits and waits by the fence Aww. where the trowels come over. Aww. It's great. Really They're passed cute. over safely. They don't just jump. Yeah. <laughs> right, now, so we've got the same snipping problem here. You don't snip it round, you won't be able to fit it in flat, so I'm going to snip it round. You're going to snip it round. Now snip the foot, not the sole. I forgot about that. Yeah. But don't snip it until you've pinned it. We were having this discussion. Oh yeah, if you snip it before you pin it, then you don't know which one's the snip and which one isn't. Oh yeah, that's you're true. lining up snips. Yeah. Unless you draw it. I mean, you could you could, you could draw mark your uh, mark first instead of snipping it. Who's got time for that? Yeah. In the pattern, are the pictures? Yes. Ah. Have yes. a quick look. Yes. There's only so many pictures you can do because sometimes they just don't relate. Yes, of course. But of course. Yeah. Ah, yes. 
so we can follow that very very easily yeah mm -hmm. where I felt that a picture was really needed you've got one in there love that so yes there's the pack. I'm not going to show you it all because I don't want you to screen grab any of that I'm not I'm not as green as I'm cabbage looking as my mum used to say oh yeah I've heard that one. <laughs> there you go. that's an old do. saying for you there <laughs> talking about getting stiff I used to pick strawberries not for just to get, take some home but for money years ago okay. in the strawberry fields and after the first day everybody got strawberry pickers walk strawberry yeah. pickers we walk. Were walking around like old people because it's so painful <laughs> i remember it well when you said that pick your own yeah there used to be a lot of pick yeah. your own farms well, yeah there still is yeah. but um mm. depends where you are i only went when i was really little and i don't think i picked any that i didn't eat i know <laughs> pick one eat one eat one pick one yeah. but we that didn't do rule. that because we had to we had to put them in punnets and they had to collect them up you had to get paid for it yes yeah, so you mum got paid oh, i yeah, just true. ate them mm. <laughs> I was really little. Yeah, yeah. It was better as well. I was lower to the ground, so I did quite well. <laughs> Very yeah. good. There we go. Yeah. Oh, those were the days. Those, those were the days. Mm. So while she's sewing that round, ha ha! <laughs> see oh. how flat that comes out? Can you see yeah, that, folks? Oh, let's have a look. Can you see how flat that comes out when you put a little, few little snips around? Look at that. Yeah. So much easier to stitch it on. Yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah. And that that's um, applicable to every sort of shape like that. You have the f the fancy bit on the top, like the curved bit on the top, and the flat bit at the bottom, and it works. But you you have got a stitch on the um, inside of the um, snip. But if you don't, yeah. and it is a bit open, then you just go round it again a bit further in. Yeah, of and course. You, and you just pull the the fabric will bounce back in. Just keep pulling yeah. it out as you're sewing. Yeah, see, pull it out. And you get rid of all this fullness. I mean, in all honesty, the, the head gusset and the feet are the, the most difficult things, yeah. and they're not difficult, they're just a little bit fiddly. Once you've done yeah. them, you've done them. And once you put the snips around, it's so satisfying when it all goes together. Yeah. yeah. I think I like about stitching, if it doesn't go together, you unpick it and have another go. Yeah. Yes, true, mm. absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Could you, if you wanted to, mm -hmm. do this by hand? You could. You could. But I wouldn't because I'm not hand stitcher, so I can't <laughs> yeah, really say that. Yeah, we've never done it, but you could. If you, if you wanted to. I don't do yeah. anything by hand. Yeah. Really. No, can I just help. mention the book? Yeah, yeah sure. You've got available. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is your book, Emma, isn't it? This is it? my yeah, book. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about yeah. your book. Okay, well, I've always been fascinated with Baltimore quilts, only they look a bit fiddly to me, and I don't do fiddly very well. <laughs> okay. So I redesigned more simplistic blocks. Yeah. So you've got 12, 12 inch applique blocks yeah. using mum's applique me method so you've got your broken down patterns to trace onto your um, sticky stuff and then your placement patterns to place them onto your fabric fabulous i, I like finished them one. with satin stitch but you can finish them any way you like blanket you stitch top stitch them. well mum did actually yeah <laughs> i ran out of time and she's quicker <laughs> and there was a lot of them <laughs> oh that's a nice one Isn't that's rose? My yeah. yeah yeah in fact, do we have some of them behind us? No, they're on the table. Oh, they're on the table, that's oh. right. Oh, these are good. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, I think that's These are beautiful. For... And you can, as Emma said, place these oh. together and build and create mm -hmm. a quilt. But there's lots of other projects as well that you can put together bags and table runners. Bags, table runners, yeah. And you can use them wherever you like on whatever project you want. Yeah, there's 12 different ones. It's a great price. 1999 if you want to go for Emma's Baltimore applique patterns and project books remember you get your patterns in there as well 116330 is your item number really like that well done on that by Thank the way you. it's my favorite quilt that is it mm, I'm not it's, just, a, it's not just saying that it really is yeah it's a beautiful mm. quilt lovely detail to it you get a lot of fun making it some to show you the different colors you can use it don't know where they've gone they've run off oh well while i'm cutting this you can look for them <laughs> <laughs> look. so we've got a foot she's sewn around the bottom all done oh there's my quilt isn't it lovely you right, pam i'm looking for the thing Pam's just off what are you looking for pam <laughs> this is that i brought in to are show you there? no okay then sit down <laughs> Sit. 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 Sit yourself down, Pam. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Another time. <laughs> He's sorted. Yeah. Can I finish? Yeah. Okay. All right. We have a foot. She's sewn the sole in. We're going to turn it through, but you do need to snip this one, and you need to snip this one. If you don't, it won't work. So snip into the curve. Up to the stitches, but not on the stitches again. If you snip your stitch, just go and sew it a little bit further in. But 
There we go. So all the way around that inward curve. Yes. If it goes that way, it doesn't matter. If it goes that way, it really does. Okay. It won't turn through. Okay. Right. Turn it through. Again, I'm going to go through that hole in the back of the heel rather than the top because it's easier. Right down into there and pull the top through. Ooh. Fingers and thumbs. There we go. This one just takes a minute or two. Right. How have we got left on the show? We've got a few minutes left. Yeah. Um, do remember to check out your baskets and make sure you have a look at that pick and mix because there are some lovely patterns up there. And we've had a couple of sellouts as well, so it might be an idea to head to the website and get what you want. Remember, Cutie Bear is still available. Cutie Bunny has sold out, but here's the thing. With Cutie Bear, you get the pattern for Cutie Bunny. Just saying. Anyway, <laughs> I'm having a great time. Um, so we have two legs. You know, pop them aside. Okay. We need a body. Yes. Okay. Now we've got five minutes left of the show. Ooh, we're so. so close. Okay. We are. So body close. back. I've done that first seam, and that's his back and his little bottom. Okay. Or her. Sorry, her. The snips are to indicate that's the seam that you need to sew and to line it up with. And we're stopping there again for the back of the neck. Ah, right. Okay. okay. So once we've done that, we need to put the darts in. So you'll see the first, I should have it this way up. First piece has got a V in it, and that's your dart. So you're just going to fold that over and stitch it along there, like I've done on the other side. Okay. So Mum's going to do that. Do a quick one. And while she's doing that, mm -hmm. we're going to do the body front. I'm not being rude by lifting the dress up. I'm lifting no. the dress up to show you the tummy. Sorry. Yeah. That looked rude. Like, ooh. Uh, I'm, not, I'm certainly not doing that. But because we're stitching mm -hmm. the belly uh, of the bunny, uh, I just ooh. wanted to show you there. Mm -hmm. You're right there, Mum. I didn't hold the ends. If you oh. don't hold the ends of your thread, it'll do that. Okay. It'll nest. So that was, we've just done the bottom. Yes. So do you want we me to turn around? Yes. Oh, again, Excuse? I'm not being rude. Do beg no. your pardon. There's Becky's bottom. So those seams that Mum's sewing are just. <laughs> Stop moving it. <laughs> right there. And they run up the side of her leg and we'll line that up. Got you. Yeah. There you go. She's got a nice little bottom so she yeah. sits down properly. Good and that is important, isn't it? The folds. It yeah. is actually, yeah. She's got a flat bottom. Flat. Oh, she's got rice in there. <laughs> she is waiting. If you're watching with the sound turned down, <laughs> yes, that's weird. Um, but I've just, you've got rice in her bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't we all? I've just had my lunch. Got my chocolate in <laughs> Everywhere else. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, we've got the bottom there with the little darts in. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I think I'm going to have to make some knickers for you, peoples. <laughs> You've got to make some what? Knickers. Knickers, knickers for me? These, well, oh. Yeah, while you're telling us about these things, you need to have a knickers on that. Yeah. On the bunny. The bunny, bunny, not, bunny. not for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> you need a lot of fabric. <laughs> <laughs> you're making my bridges. Um, yes, you could. You could make some knickers for Becky. Cool, but she'd have to have a hole in the back for the for the tail. For the tail. tail. <laughs> I think we're just digging ourselves deeper here, Pam. <laughs> How easy saves them a dark. Yeah. Uh, two and a half minutes left. Please do um, <laughs> gather. <laughs> it's getting a bit warm in here. Um, do gather. <laughs> yourselves together uh no check out your baskets it's a good idea okay what i've done is i've lined up those seams so at the front <laughs> and the back of the seams just popped a pin in there it just makes it easier yeah now we're going to pop their legs onto the the back now you want to remember that when you bend your legs back your heels go to your bottom so that's what we want to do with okay. the bunny heels to the back i will tell you how many times i'll sew them on the wrong way around yeah, yeah. It's, it's easily done though yeah, Pam. it is, it is yeah. easily done so we've lined it up with that gusset seam that we talked about on okay. the side all the way along and pinned it on each end. Same with this one. But I haven't got one okay. bunny or um, bear with the legs on the long way around now. No. no. So what, easy to do. Yes. What you don't want to do, and I have seen it done, is to put the legs oh. on flat the okay. other way around. You don't want to put them on this way with the seams like that, because yeah. then you have, well, you could if you want a ballet bear bunny. Yeah. Because yeah. their toe sticks straight out and it looks a bit odd. Yeah, true. So or that way or that way. That's they go, that. They go the wrong okay. Way. Pop yeah. that down for a minute. You're going to sew the front straight down the tummy. Yes. All the way down, open it out, and then you're going to pop front seam to front seam. We'll just quickly pin that. And then you've got snips all the way along to line it up, or not all the way along, you've got a couple of snips to line up. You go all the way around, there's a snip, 
line it up, pop a pin in it. Mm. Now, I know we've been here for oh about an hour, haven't we? And we've gone off and we've chatted about the things yeah. that are coming mm. up in the show. So would you say that, that you know, if, if we were uninterrupted, it would be like mm. an hour, an hour and a half project? A couple of hours. A couple of hours, mm. yeah. Yeah, you've got your uh, cutting we'll to do as well. Yeah. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, you're they cutting. are quick projects, these. Yes. Yeah. They are very straightforward bunnies to make bunnies and bears. You can now make a bear as well because it's made. Like I keep saying, it's made the same way. Yeah, and the dress is really easy as well. We did that last time we were on, and it yes. is easy and quick to yeah. do. Yeah, the dress is just as straightforward. Mm. So we've got 30 seconds left. I don't know where the hour goes, but it's lovely to it's be mad, in your company. It? it really is. It's always lovely to see okay. you. When are you back? Um. Oh, good grief. Uh, Sometime the end of September. September. The end so of September. September. Yes, yeah. no pressure. Look at the dates. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's all right. And we so will have something new. We, we will. will have something new. And it'll be a plique. Yes. Lovely. Okay. All right. the way around the edge. All the way around the edge. And then the tummy is done. Pam, thank you. And Emma, thank you so much. Sure. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in a few moments' time. Thanks, thank ladies. You. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Right, coming up next, uh, Clarity's 26th birthday weekend wow with Barbara and Nikki, uh, artistic flair stencils, and we have got another hour with Clarity. How exciting! Yes, just a, a few moments to tell you about Graphic 45 and the deal that we've got running this month for you. Love this collection, isn't it gorgeous? Of course, Graphic 45 is so, so popular with very uh, many mixed media and journal crafters out there. Uh, but what we're getting here is a kit, and this is going to make and create a travel album and notebook kit. I really do love this. I mean, the finished product that we've got here um, looks fabulous, and this is something that you'll be able to make because you're getting all the instructions you are getting the um, notebook and everything to build and create so you can see here just turning the pages adding all of that tropical color you've got your stickers included in this you've got the notebook you've got washi tape um, to build and create you've got ephemera cards you've got your 12 by 12 papers um, and here we go here's that lovely gorgeous little notebook as well now you've got until the 15th of September to get a hold of this Kit. So this will be available up to the 15th of September and it's available on FlexiBuy. That means today just £22.50 and you can get this home. And it does come included with your bag. I don't think I've got one here, but you get that lovely Graphic 45 bag. Uh, Ben's onto it. Ben's onto it. Thank you. Oh, that was a good catch. That could have gone totally wrong. Um, but anyway, it is important because I know you like that. Here it is. If you want to get hold of it, there's your details on your screen. I thank you very much. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Welcome to you. Thank you so Do you know, so Nikki, much. she's brilliant. And here I am with Craft Royalty on I'll one of my very over. first shows. I know, I'm honestly thrilled to be working with you. I get to work with Paul later as well. So excited, celebrating Clarity's 26th birthday. I know, you wouldn't think so, would you? You wouldn't, honestly, absolutely <laughs> not. We have been so busy, obviously with Leone's shows, with your Marvelous, shows, there's yeah. been a lot of sellouts. Very, very busy. We've got a one day special launching tonight, but first First of all, I must get to these dies because they are proving to be very, very popular. 40% of the stock of the has already stock. gone. Oh my. 
Word. I know, very, very quick. So your item number for those, 842795. You're getting this on flexi buy, so two payments of £27.48 plus your P&P. But what I'm going to do is ask Barbara about the story to these, because I believe there is a story, because yeah. Paul told me, and I watched your earlier show as well. So tell me about these dies and how they came together. Right, so these are fresh cut dies. Um, we've only been making dies for about a year. And uh, um, our good friend Mel Turner, she's a, she used to be a cartographer, and so she's a map drawer. Yeah. And so when you look at the lines in the dies, you'll see straight away, you'll see roads and mountains, obviously. And so for her, this is like a second skin. She loves drawing these as well. And, uh, and if you look at the dies, what you'll see is, and I'll show you when we work, they actually, they're called tessellators. In other words, you can join them up. And, uh, and then we've got the little miniatures in the bundle as well. We're calling these quarterettes. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll show you how they work together, but they are absolutely well, superb. Well, they already sold out individually, so the only yeah. way you can get those now is in this entire bundle. That's it. And, but the, the dies work beautifully on their own, the large ones, and, but they also work in a, in a, in a, look, I'll show you. Yeah, let's look at some samples. So if, for example, you look at the little ones, you can see that they, they join up. And similarly, so do the large ones. So you can get the most gorgeous panoramic vistas like that. I'm trying to work out how to hold it. There how you go no, that's good. How gorgeous is that? Yeah. How gorgeous. So now, this is gorgeous by Dee Paramore. Tell me about this image on the bench. My mum and dad. Aww. Okay, so, so what happened was, um, my friend Mel, our friend Mel, she illustrated three. She illustrated this one here, this one, one tree. Look, look one tree. Mm -hmm two tree there two trees and then three trees ironically last week we were doing a, a workshop together and i said to her that was ingenious mel that you did that <laughs> and she looked at me completely blankly i hadn't even realized that she'd done it so i said it's really good for joining up even she I said what is that one out. yeah so so she did those three and then but i had the idea to do these little miniature ones the quarterettes as we're calling them yeah but to do quarterettes you need a fourth one so i drew this one with my mum and dad on the park bench oh. to join to join it up, which I love. I love it as well. Yeah. Absolutely good. Now the yeah. price for this is going to go up at 11 p.m. on Sunday because don't forget this is a weekend where we are celebrating Clarity's 26th birthday. Now because it is their birthday, we've got some goodies. Now I'm going to take Barbara over, if I may, to here yes. because. Brilliant. If you buy anything from Clarity, first and foremost, you are getting your free gift, which is these, well, gorgeous papers. So you're getting a pack of this paper. Two packs. And two packs. And so there are two packs, two of those colourways and two of those colours. You get 20 sheets all together, but you'll end up with two packs like this. So no matter what, it's one per customer. If you buy anything from Clarity, you will be getting that. But it's their birthday. It's their 26th birthday. It doesn't just end there because she's very, very generous. Now you are getting this colouring book. Yes. Now let me hold this up. Okay, so the colouring so book. If you pop in Clarity 26, you will be getting, if you purchase anything from Clarity, this beautiful colouring book. Yes. So we're just going to have a look at that now with Barbara holding it. So look at all those images. And I've actually got something that I believe Barbara did. Earlier. She's working on it. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. <laughs> a pretty good work in progress, let's be honest. So that's what you're going to be getting absolutely free. Now, yeah, if it's you... a smash it. We've got, um, we got colouring book of the year for this one. Oh, Yeah, fantastic. yeah, we got the, we got the, um, the British, was it the International Craft Award for this one? Yeah, so that's isn't that what, lovely? That is what you are getting if you enter that code. Now, also, if you're not a Freedom member, I know a lot of you are and you're getting these great deals, if you're not a Freedom member, also if you pop in Clarity 26, not only are you getting the colouring book, but you're also getting one free month's worth of membership to our Freedom membership. It's a rolling contract. If you decide after a month it's not for me, just ring us up, you can cancel it, but I'm pretty sure you're going to be impressed with all the offers. So, everything there that you're getting purely because this is Clarity's 26th birthday, just remember to enter Clarity 26 when you check out. So here's some more details of those birthday offers that you're getting, but we've also got some great deals for you however as you've heard we are very very busy so we've had sellouts already today we've obviously had quite big stock updates but we knew this was going to be happen we knew this was going to happen sorry it's far